Consider the division 22 divided by 5. Here we are dividing by 5. 5 is called your divisor and 22 is your dividend. You are not going to use the word dividend as much but divisor quite a bit. Now the procedure from our school days that we know is uh, depending upon how your school taught it. So I would divide it by 5. I will write the quotient up 5, 4. What multiple of 5 is close to this number but a little less? 5, 4 is 20. And then I do the subtraction which leaves me a 2. This 2 is less than 5. And since it is less than 5, less than the divisor, I stop at this moment. Now I know this Q is nothing but my quotient. Quotient. And this 2 is my remainder. And in our questions, we are going to focus on finding the remainder. So I'm not very interested in the quotient per se, but the remainder, which is 2 in this case. So we are going to learn our division through different ways. This was the procedure. If we go even back, what is division? Division is basically repetitive subtraction. If you remember, multiplication is repetitive addition. Division is repetitive subtraction. So you start with 22. You subtract the divisor 5. I am left with 17. Take that 17. You subtract the 5 again. Keep subtracting 5 again. So I will be left with a 12. The 12 you have, subtract a 5 again. I will be left with a 7. Take the 7, subtract a 5 and I will be left with a 2. Now this 2 is less than 5. Now I hope you all understand why that less than 5 is important. Because... 2. From 2 I cannot subtract a 5 further. So I have subtracted a 5 once, twice, thrice, 4 times. So I have done 4 subtractions. And this, this is the meaning of your quotient. Quotient. Fine. And this 2 that is left over is nothing but your remainder. So keep repeating the subtraction. How many times can you subtract becomes your quotient. Whatever is left is your remainder in the end. Right? Now we are going to use an analogy and we are going to use this ana analogy a lot. At least at the beginning. And I found it to be very useful. Think of it as we have 22 marbles. So these are your 22 marbles. Let me count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So there are 22 marbles. You won't get a table also into picture. On a table there are 22 marbles. When we divide by 5, divide by 5 is equivalent to form groups of 5. Form groups of 5. Okay, so I take this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is one group. I take another group, 1, 2, and this becomes another group. Okay, I take a third group. Okay, so this becomes another third group. Check in the group, that has to be 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, okay, and I take another 3, 1, 3, and 2, these are 5. So I take these groups of 5. So I form a group. You want in your imagination, take a group of 5 and keep it aside. All orderly. Take another group of 5 and keep it aside. You can form 4 groups. The, these four groups is equivalent to your quotient, which I am not interested in, in these type of questions, remainder, right? What I am interested is in these, these ones, right? So this one and this one. If I look, these are the sort of leftovers, leftovers. Now, I cannot form another group with them. These are called my remainders, what I am going to search Okay, so we'll be using this analogy a lot. Let me just introduce the algebraic way out over here. In algebraic way, the uh, relation is written as dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Check the equivalence of the left and the right hand side, right? And my dividend is 22 and divisor is 5. So I do 5 into 4, that is 20 and a 2. Now they both are equal 22. So this is my remainder that I am searching for. This is my quotient. 
So, if you understood this properly, especially the repetitive subtraction and the analogy part, you will realize that remainders are the leftovers. So, remainders have to first be non-negative. Yeah, what is left with me? So, I might not be left with anything. Zero is possible. Okay, I might be left with one, two. In this case, I was left with two. Right? So, I could have non-negatives. What is left with me? And they have to be less than the divisor. Less than the divisor. That is, if I want to write it in another word, these have to be 0 to d minus 1. Throughout the chapter, d will refer to the divisor. 0 to d minus 1. There are d different values, including a 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 till d minus 1. And this has to be my final answer, has to be this. Final answer has to be in this range. Okay, why am I repeating, why am I emphasizing this? The final answer has to be in this range is, in our, we will mathematically manipulate it a lot. Mathematically, we will manipulate it. And quite a bit. Manipulate it means a remainder. So as to get any value. So as resulting in different values. Resulting in any value. But then that any value. You would have to change it to the required range. What I mean by that very quickly is. Look here when I was subtracting. Could I have just stopped over here. Could I have stopped over here and I could have said, listen, I have subtracted it three times, minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, and I am left with 7. There is nothing wrong as yet, right? You might say, what does repetitive subtraction mean? You are left with 7. Can I again subtract a 5? Yes, but then this is an intermediate step. So, I could say that I would result in any value, complete the whole procedure, get it back to the range that you want. So, don't stop over here. What could it be here? In this logic, it could be, oh, I could have not formed this group and I could have said, okay, how many groups can I form? I can form three groups. One, two, three. And what am I left with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm left with seven. So, again, I've got some value out over here. Uh, if you want to write it here, algebraically, what am I doing? Five, how many groups? Three. Five threes are 15. And what is left over is seven. So, mathematically both sides are still balancing out. So, I could still say this forms a relation like this. Except that the remainder is not in the traditional values that we expect it to be. You could even do this out over here. 22, take it by 5, put a quotient of 3. 5 threes are 15. I missed out that 5 fours are 20. Subtract and I get a 7. So, again nothing wrong in this process. Or let me introduce this before I close this session here, the basic part of it. I could possibly have done something else as well. I could have just as, if I name this, I could say I under divide it. I can divide it further. I can make one more group. Similarly, let's say what if I over divide it. I put the quotient is equal to 5. 5 5s are 25. When I subtract, I get a minus 3. Again, you can't find fault with this. Uh, 5 5s are 25. I want 22. So, what do I do? I subtract a 3. Is this identical to the relations we have written earlier? Yes. So, I could say my groups is 5. But now that the remainder is going to be minus 3 and not 7. So, that is what I said. Mathematically, we are going to manipulate quite a bit. We are also going to get negative remainders. You are going to get any value. But at the end, you need to change that. What am I doing here? I form one group. And look carefully because logically, this is what I will be using. I have two left. I say I want to form a group of 5. So, let me get, so I am just showing them by a little different sign. Let me get 3 more. Okay, and I could say that I have this 5 groups. But then what is this leftover? In fact, there is no leftover. These, these 3 of them, they are integral groups. These 3 are borrowed. I did not have them. These are borrowed from somewhere else. I owe it to someone. It is not with me. So, I could say this is something like equivalent to a minus 3 or I subtract a, uh, from 7, I subtract a 5 left with 2. This was a proper sense. From 2, I again subtract a 5. I will be left with a minus 3. 
right so this becomes my remainder out of a how many times have i subtracted now i have subtracted five times so these are the manipulations that i am talking about they are help us in they'll help us quite a bit in reducing our work so you should be accustomed to them at the same time don't miss out that you need to get your answer to the the required form that is from 0 to d minus 1 at the end right so let's get begin let's start with a few questions with the analogy understanding mm -hmm.